While in the midst of, of mounting that response to this shock public health outbreak in his state, though, Governor Pence has simultaneously been busy turning the state government's attention to the pressing need of making sure that it is legal to discriminate against gay people in the state of Indiana. You might remember that Arizona a couple years ago passed a bill and, and sent it to the governor that would have given businesses in the state of Arizona the explicit right to refuse service to gay people. Uh, the Arizona legislature did pass that bill, but when the country figured out what Arizona had just passed and businesses and organizations all over the country, including like professional sports leagues, right? When people all over the country started letting Arizona know that if that, that bill became law, people would move businesses out of Arizona, move businesses and events and conventions and maybe even the Super Bowl out of Arizona in protest because they did not want to do business in a state that had a law like that. In Arizona, in the face of those national boycott threats, a couple years ago, Jan Brewer decided to veto that Republican bill. Not Mike Pence. That's him signing it. That same thing that got vetoed in Arizona, Mike Pence at that signing ceremony just signed it, making Indiana the first state in the country to move overtly, wholesale, on purpose, to legalize and say the state approves of businesses refusing service, service to people on the basis of sexual orientation or anything else your religion might encourage you to discriminate on the basis of. He just did what even Jan Brewer was smart enough to avoid doing. Mike Pence just did it yesterday, and it is landing with a thud in his home state. Well, the much debated religious freedom bill is now law in Indiana. Governor Pence made it official yesterday, but reaction remained swift and sharp, and it's coming from across the country. Sunrise reporter Chris Kirshner is live this morning with possible backlash and what it also means for Indiana businesses. Chris? Yeah, good morning, Julia. On the surface, it appears this new legislation, which supporters say is meant to protect from discrimination, will be bad for Indiana business, especially that business that relies on Hoosier hospitality. You know, despite protests throughout the debate over this legislation and protests that even continued Thursday, Governor Pence signed the Religious Freedom Bill into law. The groups opposed are many and varied, from the Indianapolis Chamber, which called it a, quote, divisive and unnecessary law, to the NCAA, which expressed concern about how the legislation would affect athletes and employees. To the point of the NCAA, the NCAA is headquartered in Indianapolis. Uh, the men's Final Four in the NCAA basketball tournament is in Indianapolis next week. The NCAA put out a statement today expressing their concern about this Mike Pence bill that he just signed, saying they will, quote, closely examine the implications of this bill and how it might affect future events as well as our workforce. Again, the NCAA doesn't just hold a lot of events in Indianapolis. They have their headquarters there. Could they move the whole NCAA be because of this? The CEO of Yelp said today that that company will not expand in Indiana because of that law. He also says they won't expand in any state that passes a law like that. A big company called Salesforce is based in California, but that company just bought an Indiana-based company called Exact Target last year for $2.5 billion. The CEO of Salesforce now says that because of what Mike Pence just did, that company is going to cancel all of their Indiana-based programs, even though they just bought this huge Indiana-based firm. The CEO of a little company you might have heard of named Apple, uh, that company that now has uh, double the market valuation of ExxonMobil, roughly, Apple's CEO said today, quote, Apple is open for everyone. We are deeply disappointed in Indiana's new law and calling on Arkansas's governor to veto this similar bill. That bill uh, in Arkansas is basically the same thing that Mike Pence just signed in Indiana. It's pending in Arkansas, it passed the Arkansas Senate today. It looks like it will be on the way to the Arkansas governor's desk and soon. If that happens, that governor can look forward to looking down the same barrel of the same huge coast-to-coast -coast business backlash that Mike Pence just brought down on his state because of his urgent desire in the middle of actual real challenges facing his state, his urgent desire to change state law to make sure that it is legal for businesses to refuse service to gay people.